Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Strategic Jordan. This is Hyrule Total War Dark Nut Legion Campaign. Are you ready? Oh, uh, Sprite. Thanks, these guys. I'll try to get some coherency. Yes, I want some fucking Zuna crossbowmen. Like, the one thing the Legion lacks is range units. Give me that shit. Give me it. You, Vati. And you, so called living goad. Let's do this! For those of you that don't know, I've made a battle plan. I'm gonna cut the Gerudo Empire in half and force them to peace talks. If they refuse then, I will gather my forces and march upon their capital, Ashinyon. I will then ransom their capital back to them for the peace negotiations. They will have no choice but to submit to Dark Nut Power. Now, this is actually going to be a bit of a short video, and there's only going to be one Hyrule Total War video this upload session, which is typically one, two, maybe three days. Reason for that is it, it's a busy day for me. This is really all the time I got for to record, and I'm I want to get started on the second LP because for for you new subscribers, I know there's a few of you. I um I like to do run two LPs simultaneously. So while this is going on, I also will have another one going on, and I want to get started on that one too. So. One Hyrule video, maybe one or two of the second one. I don't know. I have to see what time it is. Like I said, it's a busy couple of days. We'll see how it goes. Remember, leave a like and leave a shout out for the Legion. I'll tell your friends. What are you doing to that poor woman? Oh, you sick bastards, all of you. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Whoopsie. Ah, I can't change the tax levels. Look, just eat anybody who tries to stop you, alright? Alright, I think we first we should attack this settlement down here. They got access to gold! What the fuck? Oh god. Oh, it's Nabaru, a fucking sage. Eh. Those losses were a bit excessive. What? Oh, you have a leather tanner. Alright, you guys, okay, you fold into that. Ah, oh, right. Might have to pull some recruits out from other areas. To make up the garrison for Paladorf. Alright, well that works. Now I could take these Falcon Knights, reinforce the Korodnabar's army while we march up to Adiendorf. If we take that, I don't think we'll actually have enough man men uh, 
dark nut power. <laughs> Whatever. To uh, take Ashendor. Ashinyon. Really? No dwarf? It's your capital. Good, they accepted. Right. Mm. Ordonia is a very powerful nation. Oh, look! They start spreading into old... Whatever. Icania. That's it. Old Icania. You didn't take Icania City itself? Why not? Whatever. You didn't even take... Come on, Ardornia, you didn't even take back your natural borders. That was wrong of you. Or did they? Nope. I wonder if I could force a peace deal now. Doubtful, but something to hope for. Gonna be a bloody day, lads. You heard nothing. There was no soda being opened. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. I'm watching you, Goma. Goma are the Zerg faction. Oh, how I hate them. What are you even doing it? I don't think they'll attack that cell, man. I don't. I, I don't think they will. The AI, uh, you, you can say a lot about the AI, but at least they're good about taking territories that actually border them. Like I'm more worried about the southern area of my empire being taken by the Goma than Palindorf. Uh, it's not going to end well, will it? We have Azora pulling some shit. Oh, I got kind of a headache. Hmm. Oh, good. We're making money. I hope that by giving them trade rights and map information. Oh, they allied to the Gerudo. I hope by doing this, I can get them to not attack me. Ah, bitch. Falcon Knights. Adapts are the bloody infantry in my army. I think I'll keep them for now. That said, everyone else has access to adapts. Maybe I should train masters in Ontheon. Sure, why not? I'll keep initiates and barrel stand, even though everything is screaming at me to do something else with them. Excavate ruins. Give me farms. I might actually be able to force a peace with the Grudo now. They're not getting Palindorf back. 
of course, but, uh, peace might be a possibility. Man, this is really making me want to play Shogun. For some, some reason, some reason, this ma really makes me want to play Shogun 2 as the Yusugi faction. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the Yusugis get special, um, what are those guys called with the big double-handed katanas? I don't remember, but fucking Dark Nuts kind of remind me of them. Alright. Palendorf is now connected to the trading network. I'm really grateful that I got to the Zuna before the Gerudo did. Oh my god, can you imagine if the Gerudo got access to Zuna crossbowmen? Fuck my life. Because Dark Nuts might have heavy armor, but crossbows have armor piercing. They would have made my life hell. Greetings once again, friends. My people have discussed the issue for a great time now, and have realized that your empire far exceeds ours in many aspects. On behalf of the Zuna people, I come to you asking if we may join the Legion as members and adopt your government and culture. I, I will take the Zuna as a client race. Awesome. It's the end of turn report. Membership accepted. The Zuna people have decided to join the Legion as members of the Empire. The Legion has accepted this proposal. The Zuna will no longer be recognized as an independent power and their government, culture, and military have been absorbed. I, I really feel like the Dark Nuts are fantasy Rome. I mean, we already got some client races. I mean, where are they? We we already accepted the Falcon Knights as a client race. Now we've accepted the Zuna as a client race as well. And soon we will have the, well, some Gerudo. Really, it's, you know, the Gerudo's fault. They started this war. Okay, it's their fucking fault. Not mine. The only problem is I now have a massive new frontier that needs guarding. Kind of bad. I fucked up. I just fucked up. Yeah, the Zuna are gone. Oh, wait. Right near expands. Is he yours? Is he yours? Damn it. I just absorbed three new territories and Hyrule became the largest faction? What? What? Really, what? Oh, yeah, Zuna, Zuna itself, Zuna. Yay, Zuna. Ah, oh, yes, we have a Zuna. Uh, the leader, I, I assume that's their faction leader right here. They have a goddamn ziggurat. Basically, a ziggurat is a mobile crossbow armed tank. Well, firing platform. That's a fucking tank. Special attack, bonus fighting cavalry, combat bonus in deserts, long range missiles, can't hide good stamina. Deep within the Gerudo desert 
rest the all but impenetrable pyramids built and maintained by the Zuna. On a smaller scale, the Zuna construct mobile platforms that can be moved by a contingent of dark nuts and deployed into a defensive position whence a legion of crossbowmen can unleash their firepower. So, judging by the description of the Zuna Ziggurat, it actually sounds like the Zuna are supposed to join the Dark Nut Legion, though they can join the Gerudo. In fact, the minor races like the Huskas and the um, the Zuna and the others, there are other minor factions, they can join any faction that they get an alliance with first. But because of their positions, certain nations get certain ones, like Garut. Like, Dark Nuts and Gerudo typically get these, um, the Zuna. Though really, anybody who aligns with them fast can get them. Same for the Huskus Remnant and others. Alright, we got, we got a fucking Ziggurat. These things are terrifying. Well, make it so the Zuna are gathering a force here in their capital. Any excess warriors will be most thank you, thanked upon. They're going to lose. And there was no way around that. Oh, you fucker. I have no idea what that means. I like how this is even. Oh fuck, this video is almost out of time. Yee. Uh, I don't have time. Uh, can I save? Oh god, let me save. I, I don't have time. Fuck, I should have paid attention. Yeah. Um, I I'll start deployment. Just please let me save. Can I save? Can I save? Oh no!